Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Rustic Nerd Dad here. So doing another episode about um, purchases from Mercari. And uh, you might have a general idea of what I might have purchased. So let's get to it. Um, if you like my, you know, my review videos or you're interested in like purchases from Mercari, uh, make sure you check out my playlist and you can always hit the subscribe button down here at the bottom corner. Um, so let's get this open and see what we got today. Um, I'm sure you already can tell from the description of the video, but you know. So they've got it double bagged and they've got it labeled, you know, green arrow. First piece that's in here is the under suit shirt. So this is definitely one of the cheaper variations of the outfit, I think. There's that, and obviously this is the sleeveless version. When I'm done, I'll uh, throw it up on the mannequin and do a quick uh, review for you guys so you can see the whole outfit. Um, next side of the bag appears to be the pants. And this is a size large, apparently. Looks like it should fit me. Should be a little big on me, we'll see. But, uh, doesn't hurt for me to have an extra pair of pants. All right, here's the primary vest portion. With the, the hood. So everything seems to be in really good condition thus far. And by, I have a cold by the way, so that's why I sound a little stuffy. Okay. Oh. So you got one of the soft gauntlets here. So this will go on the, the wrist. Again, it's flimsy. Um, I mean, Makari is secondhand purchases. Well, it would have been nice to, you know, see it packaged a little better, just because, like, areas like this are now kinked. But it's not awful. Um, I mean, I plan on upgrading this anyway. Like, to be honest, what I'll probably end up doing, sidebar, is slicing open this pleather center area and stuffing it with, like, a foam to give it a more rigid, uh, rigid application so it's not so all over the place so when it's worn it's actually stiff and looks like the gauntlet from the show but so far I'm pretty happy with what's come out of the bag we've got the lag quiver for the darts which again you know quality wise it's not not too bad I, I can I can definitely work with it um if you've seen any of my other content, whether it's on Instagram or TikTok, uh, when it comes to my Green Arrow stuff, I'm just building my arsenal. So, right, what else you got here? Got another gauntlet. Again, could have been packaged a little bit better just because of the folds. I'm not really going to take it away from the seller when I go to, like, rate them. And here we have the back quick, which, again, is all kinked up. It's not going to take a whole lot to straighten that out, basically. If I just get something heavy and lay it down perfectly, it'll take the kinks out. Um, again, this is something that, you know, it's not an awful 
design. Um, it's just a matter of making it stiff. Um, that's something that I'll be able to work with. And of course it's got like the on the harness here you can see you can see that it's got the the spots for the tactical arrow pieces so that's everything out of the bag um i'm pretty happy with you know with nothing looks to appears to be damaged um everything seems to be in good shape as if it were to be purchased from one of the costume sites um, keep in mind, these suits are normally like $200 suits. I scooped this up for like around 60 bucks with shipping. So that's why I like Mercari. If you, you know, if you keep your eye open and you're diligent, you can find some really good deals. Um, because I've gotten a few things off there now. Like I got this, actually, all three of these things that I'm wearing right now, I purchased on Mercari. Um... This hat I purchased way early on from Mercari. This shirt I just recently got, and you guys are able to see the um, open it, unboxing video of that in my review. Um, and then this this here, um, I've also gotten another um, Green Arrow um, vest. It's actually almost identical to to the one that I just opened up um, off Mercari as well. And uh, so far, I've only had like one negative interaction on Mercari. And it wasn't even that really negative. Um, and the Mercari uh, customer service side handled it very, very well. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead, throw this up on the mannequin here and give you guys an up close view of what this suit looks like. All right guys, so the outfit is on the mannequin now and uh, we can have a closer look. All right, everyone, here we go. So starting with the top, um, with the hood. Um, it's made out of a decent material. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of wear there or something um, looks like it should be easy to wipe off. Either way, it will end up um, being like, could end up being like weathering or something, but I'll wipe that off just to see, just to clean it up. Um, the sewing and the zipper is fantastic. Um, this is pretty flimsy. I'll probably replace it with real leather. Keep the buckling, because I love those snaps. They work really well. I've got them for some of my other suits. But everything else looks great. You know, again, I only paid 60 bucks. Um, but one thing I do want to talk about, which I'll definitely be upgrading. So, opening up the to look at the undersuit, you've got like this costumey, um, kind of stretchy lycra fabric um, but it's like thick like it's really really thick and in the in the sun or out in the day it, that would get very hot um, and a lot of the suits now they have more of a mesh type of material to help thing help you breathe as you're wearing it um, so I do like that it looks more like a t-shirt sleeve with that design so I might leave that I actually like that um, I know a lot of people like the traditional, um, just on the shoulder, um, which in, with this I'm going to be adding padding as well um, to make it look more rounded. But I actually like that t-shirt look. So when I make my modification, personally, um, I'm just going to take this center area out and have, see if my wife can add like mesh in here and like a center zipper. That way it's easier to put on and the whole outfit just breathes so I'm not sweating to death when I'm wearing it. So yeah, um, try to get the zipper back up here. There we go. All right, so yeah, um, again, replace, I'm gonna replace these with real leather eventually. Um, just going over this side because there's a little bit more light. So for the gauntlets, again, you can see decent, decent detail. Uh, but when I kind of zoom out here, you can see that they're just very, very flimsy looking. Um, so that's why I'm going to be adding like foam or something a little bit more sturdy um, to make this pop a little better. Because again, in the show, um, their, their leather texture 
Um, they're, well, they are leather, but they're not flimsy, floppy. And same with the shoulder again. Just, it looks nice, but just very, just scrunchy. Um, whereas even if I just put my fingers on it underneath it, it pushes it out and gives it more of a rounded look. So um, I'll be upgrading the shoulders as well. Uh, moving downwards to the pants. Again, um, these pants are actually really, really nice. The The pleather material is is very leather looking, leather, leather feeling as well. Um, the stitching is really well done. Um, it's probably one of the better stitching jobs I think I've seen on some of these cheaper suits. And what I did notice that I do like is that they've got these little uh, like belt loops um, sewn into the inner legs so that you can wear this on either leg. Um, and for me, I, I really enjoy it because I'm going to be doing, uh, my own custom build soon or like swapping out pieces. This is a little, I mean, the dart holder is a little bit flimsy, but again, nothing that I can't sturdy up. So yeah, pretty, pretty impressed overall again, especially only for 60 bucks. So I definitely give it. A thumbs up all right guys so this is the this is the vest that I purchased uh, separately also on Mercari Mercari excuse me from another seller um, a while back and it definitely is the same um, manufacturer um, as to this one and this one's actually a size large as well um, to give you guys a general idea of sizing um, I'm 5'9 about um, 160 pounds um and it fits you know pretty pretty well perfectly for me so um unfortunately i don't know who the exact um, maker is i'll try to do some research and find that out um, when i do i'll definitely update the description of the video with who the original maker is of these suits um, or if you have an idea then you're watching feel free to let me know in the comments um, but yeah, this, this fits me really, really well. And I'm just going to turn my back here so you guys can see the detailing on the back. But yeah, for, you know, I paid, believe it or not, when I bought this, I paid 45 bucks. And I was like, man, that's a steal. Cause you know, I, again, I was talking about doing custom builds. I'll be able to swap out the, the vest pieces. Um, but then I was able to score this whole thing for 60 bucks. I mean, I'm impressed. <laughs> um, so that actually lets me be able to play with this one a little bit more. Um, cause I know that there's a comic variation where the um, abdominal area of the green arrow out vest is, um, is brown. So I might do a little bit of work on this one or this one, depending on which one's in better shape, essentially. And, uh, work on my custom builds. So in total, I think I've got uh, Jeepers five or six different um, Green Arrow suits now. Um, if you guys are interested in watching or seeing a video of all of those suits, let me know. Um, and I can, you know, put up the different suits on the different mannequins, talk about where I got them from, talk about my likes, dislikes. Just let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. And um, I have a, I plan on getting more. Um, Green Arrow is one of those characters that I've always enjoyed, and I just plan on building my collection up for that specific character. Um, and eventually, we'll move it to an Arrow Cave. So again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe um, for more content. I have a lot more a lot more planned uh, to come, including you know bow customizations. Um, you know, prop building for like arrowheads, um, you know, working on the mannequin to make it more show um, accurate per se, because I'm going to be painting it silver, like in the show, and then giving it a clear coat so that the silver doesn't wear onto the suits. Um, and all kinds, all that kinds of fun stuff. So keep an eye out for those videos. I've got lots planned. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and catch you again soon.